Hey, Leonard and Adelaide, Casey here at the property on 3039 East Rockrin. Uh, I know we mentioned maybe the step down might be an issue, but I wanted to see the house in person and get you a video anyways. I'm out front, they are uh, doing some landscaping today, so you'll see the truck here. Uh, the house looks beautifully uh, painted and stuccoed. It's in a great area here in um, Awatuki. It's right across the street from a house that we saw before. There's some walking trails and some mountain views right around here. You'll see some of the other properties in the, in the neighborhood. Uh, mountain view excuse me mountain views over behind uh, the top of one of those houses over there quiet neighborhood does have an rv gate on this side here it does have some security cameras and some other features i'll send you some of the upgrades that come with it as well the stucco and paint looks to be done recently um, the house is 3010 square feet four bedroom two and a half bath built in 1989 it is a three-car garage <clears throat> so like i said the exterior paint looks great um, you can kind of see that it's kind of flawless, just a smooth texture, nice and painted. And all the eaves look brand new and painted as well. They may have done a little patch on one of those eaves up there, but other overall, it looks uh, in really great shape. Go ahead and head into the inside here. <clears throat> Travertine right when you walk in. Looks like it's been honed and sealed. You do have the drop down, as you mentioned, right? When you walk in to the property in which I feel that we could bring that up if we needed to, no problem. Um, we'd have to move the outlets up a little bit, but not much um, and to make all that happen. And here, got the nice stone pillars, chandelier hanging over, fireplace. Um, the foyer does have a chandelier hanging down as well. If you hang to the right, um, you're gonna have your formal uh, dining area. This is right off of the um, right off the front of the house. They got the plantation shutters that looks outside. The coffered ceilings has a pass through to a service area. Um, little bar top here, pass through service, salad sink, um, cabinets and such as well. If we keep heading um, into the to the right, we will come into the uh, living room. So this is, or I'm sorry, the kitchen. This is your eating kitchen here. They have the desk going on in here with some cabinetry. To the right again is going to be your laundry room. These cabinets are a little dated in here. Travertine throughout here as well. It's like they're nine foot to ten foot ceilings. It is plumb for a sink if you want to put a sink in here. Head into the garage, you got your three car garage. Decent size, you got your water softener there. You got an air handler here in the in the actual garage and a water heater installed in 2013. Um, you do have an attic access here as well. So that bodes well for us um, not having any other accesses throughout the house. You got ample storage space. It does have a window to the front yard there as well. And then it has a door to the exterior here as well. They have it uh, boarded up, but you have more storage uh, back here in the corner as well. Pretty good use of space. They have a TV up top there as well. Okay, so we head into the kitchen. This is the eat-in dining area as once again, it does have a little seating area here. Plantation shutters so you can look out to the side of the property. Has a double oven and the pantry um, on the wall there. An island. Spot for your refrigerator. It is an electric convection cooktop. I have to see if there's gas at the property or not. Got an alder type cabinetry. These are solid cabinets. Your sink here in the corner overlooks the outside of the house there. Lots of cabinetry in here and then a peninsula that comes off that goes into um, a living area, more of a family room type area. Okay, take you back around. That's a double-sided fireplace. 
Let's go check out the bedrooms. So we got bedroom number one, or like a den. Yeah, so this is like an office slash den here. There is no closet in here. It does have access to the backyard. Um, and it looks like they use this, like I said, as an office. You got the tall coffered ceilings, got a fan up there, access to the backyard, plantation shutters on the side, and your double doors getting into there. You got your half bathroom here. Got your owner's suite in here. Okay, so this is an actual step up instead of a step down um, in the master. So this level in the bathroom is all ground floor. And then in order to get up to the area where you would sleep, you have two steps that go up to it um, and step up here. Plantation shutters, you got your double fireplace, one on, you know, for each side. There you do have access to the backyard in which you would have to um, step down a couple steps to get to the pathway. We'll go check out the backyard in just a moment. Um, I'm not sure what could be done about lowering this. Um, most likely not a whole lot, that doesn't cost a ton of money. But here's your um, master suite. You got a walk-in shower, it's travertine. You got a soaking tub surrounded by travertine as well. The block wall. You got your double vanities over here. You got your stone medicine cabinets, your water closet over here. And then you have a walk-in closet here. So they did build this partition over um, the glass door. So it's a very slim opening here, but this could come out fairly easy. I don't even think it's attached really. Um, it would just be disconnecting this area right here and taking these out and you'd still have a pretty ample amount of space of closet in here no attic access in here tall ceilings in the bathroom plant shelf up top changing out your filters um, here on ground level so no ladders to change out any filters it looks like um, they got some decent new thermostats so i think the ac units were replaced as well they do have um, a desk, and this actually is a Murphy bed, which if you didn't want, we could get rid of. So this is bedroom number two, essentially. Um, you got your closet there. You got an entertainment center in here. So this must have been the office, and this is, uh, this is a lot of large furniture. So this room feels pretty small as it sits, but on a normal size scale of things without these in here, it'd be a decent size room. I would say it's probably 13 by 15 or so, um, 12 by 15, somewhere in there. The, those plantation shutters go out to the front of the house. You got bed, the bathroom number two. They didn't do anything in here as far as any updates are concerned to the cabinetry or the granite. Um, but there is travertine showers all the way through um, in this bedroom or bathroom, which is also looks out to the front of the house. So we'd have to work on that a little bit. And then here is bedroom um, number three, I guess you would call it. So they say it's a four bedroom, but that front room is more of an office slash den that does not have a closet. This one has a walk-in closet. Okay. So this is, uh, this room's probably 11 by 12, 12 by 12, somewhere in there. Decent size rooms. The flooring is, looks like it's real wood and has been scuffed up a little bit, um, which I think that you'd probably want to replace most of this stuff anyways, if this was a contender. Uh, I got some cabinetry down the hallway. It's not a bad little house. Obviously has uh, a couple little quirks, but I think everything has a couple little quirks. Okay. 
there. Great mountain views right from your patio. You got your pool and your spa here. You got sun shades up top. The patio only runs about half of the house. They got a misting system that they have set up in here that will uh, do high pressure mist. That's what that is. Typically cools the ambient temperature down in the summer by uh, 10 to 20 degrees. You got a propane tank over here. Stamped concrete around the pool. It's in good shape. The Pebble Tech looks like it's in good shape. They're turning on some landscaping so you hear the bubblers come on. Water some of the trees. You got your heater. Got all your plumbing equipment, which they said that they uh, replaced most of the in-ground plumbing and some of these uh, other features. Variable speed pump back there. It's your filter, coordinator, pool heater, the spa pump. And then you got, it's on a remote, so you can have it probably either to an app or uh, they have a control box in there for it. Turn everything on. It's a diving pool, so it is deep. It's probably at least eight feet deep. Got your spa. Nice little grass area over here. Got a lot of palm trees. Got some lemon tree and some grapefruits, it looks like. Got your AC units down on this side of the house. Very large units. Looks to be newer than the original date of the house, obviously, not from 1989. Let's see if I can find a manufacture date on here. I don't see it, but they look, they look to be relatively uh, in good shape. And this is the uh, access door to um, nothing actually i think this is just storage on the outside because this is the uh side of the house where this is the bedrooms this is the bathroom right there so that is right outside of the closet the uh owner suite closet so they're far enough away from where you sleep it is a corner lot so there's a road that's on the other side of this wall and once again, uh, the mountain is right on top of you there. It's a pretty beautiful view. Anyways, just wanted to see this one in person just to kind of check it out, see if there's anything we could do about the steps up and down. Um, I think it would be pretty easy to uh, do something for about the, uh, the, the living room right when you walk in. Um, but the master is a step up to get into that sleeping area. So not necessarily a step down to get to to anything else. Anyways, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, let me know if you have any questions or concerns. I'm happy to answer anything for you. Thank you and talk to you soon. Bye.